guys, so I decided to do a video of kind of the steps that we did to make our Christmas cards. We actually handmade them this year, and Josh is over here helping me trim all the paper. Yeah. And um, I don't know, we're really proud of them, and I really like the way that they're coming out so far. So I thought I'd just kind of show you what we've done and how I did it, and then I'll show you the final product when they're all finished. So um, Josh is actually a graphic designer, so he helped me design um, this image that I had in my head and I wanted to do something that was a little bit more fun and festive, not quite super traditional. So what I did was I created this banner in uh, Illustrator and the camera is not going to pick it up but there are these little flags and this one says wishing and then this says you the and then it says happiest of holidays and then it says love and hugs the Hamilton family and then on over here there's like at the bottom there's a little message that says please turn over for a super special message. And then this is the bottom of the card, the bottom half of the paper here, and we're going to handwrite our Christmas messages to everyone. And then down here, it just says that the, the card was handmade by me. So people know that I put, um, you know, a lot of, you know, blood, sweat, and tears into making these cards just because we, um, we did put a lot of work into them. So that's kind of what the top looks like. And then he put um, just obviously some trim marks in here. So you do kind of have to know how to use a design program to do this just because you have to make all of these little triangles um, and put in the lettering and stuff yourself and color them. So, um, so yeah, that's the, that's the top of our card. So we're going to trim it down. And then when you trim it down, it ends up looking like this. And then we're also cutting out some craft paper. We just got all of this paper at Michael's or Joanne. Um, they come in stacks of 50, and they had craft paper and then just white cardstock. And so what we're going to do is we're going to mount them like this. There's like a little border. So the front of the card is going to go on like that. And then the back of the card with a message will be another piece of white paper on the back like this. So it's just going to be, it's not going to be folded or anything. It's just going to be a flat card. And then, um, to oh, I still need this. And then to pull the little flag, I cut out these little <laughs> felt birds. I have a stack over here. And I just cut out a little template um, from a piece of cardboard. And I use that template to um, cut out all these little tiny birds. They're just like little doves, I guess. Um, and I'm going to have the dove hot glued over here like that. So he's kind of pulling um, the banner. And then I'm actually going to put like a little black dot right here for an eyeball and then little like feet at the bottom too, which is a pen. I'm going to just hand draw that myself because it shouldn't be too difficult. And then on top of that, as if that wasn't enough to cut out <laughs> about 70 of these little felt birds. By the way, I just used, um, what do I have over here? I just used these little felt squares that you can get at craft stores. I got this from Joanne. It was like 39 cents and I only needed like four of these to cut out about 70 birds. On top of that, I braided... I picked out three colors of just like the embroidery string. Where is my extra? Here it is right here. Um, I picked out a yellow, a green, and a red just to make it a little bit Christmassy, but still kind of like holiday neutral. And I braided it to make this little tiny scarf. The camera is going to be a little bit fuzzy, but hopefully you can kind of see that I just braided it. And then kept little knots and tassel on the ends so that looks like a scarf. And these are actually little scarves for the birds, and I've started some over here, so you can kind of see <laughs> I'm tying them around the birds so that they look like they have little scarves, so that when they are actually on the card, sorry, when they're actually on the card, they look like that. So we're really excited, so Josh is still just kind of trimming up all of our paper. <laughs> He's my little elf today. Yeah. <laughs> um, but we were just talking about how if we had to do it all over again, so we've already put a lot of work into this. We printed these off on our own computer and um, we had to keep shaking, shaking our ink cartridge and it was just kind of a fiasco. We were actually asking ourselves if we could do it all over again, would we hand make the cards or just buy them like we had done in years past? And we both decided that we would still hand make them because they're just, it's fun. It's something to do together during the Christmas season and we started these back in November. So it's not like we are super rushed to get these out. So we're pacing ourselves um, pretty well and... I will show you guys footage when they're pretty much almost done. Okay, so after doing a lot more of these little birdies, I picked up a couple tips along the way. So when I first cut out the little birds, I obviously had to trace them out and I used a black pen just because with pencil, it really wasn't showing up on the fabric very well. I'm not sure if it was just a pencil I was using or what, but um, I'm not really sure if you can see, probably not, but there are some black trace marks still on the bird. So what I did was I traced them the opposite way that I needed them to go. So I actually need them on the card facing left, 
but I traced them facing right. That way the black markers that were left over still were gonna be on the back. So that's definitely something to keep in mind when you're cutting out all of your little birds if you ever decide to do something like this. And then for the tiny scarves, um, because they're so small and especially because I have big man fingers, um, I found it easier to just loosely double knot this scarf. I do have to double knot all of these because otherwise they don't stay on very well. So I double knot the little scarf and then I put it around the bird's neck. I can't really do it now because I'm one-handed and it would it'd be really kind of awkward. But once it's around the little neck, then I can position it and tighten it however I need to so that it looks good. So this is kind of what I've been coming up with. So yeah, those are some tips that I've kind of picked up along the way. And then I still have about 30 more to do. Yay! <laughs> Hopefully we'll be done soon. Okay, so moving on to the next step. We have, well, I should say Josh trimmed all of the paper. So we have like the uh, the border paper here, which is just craft paper. And we got all of our fronts trimmed up as well. And then we got all of our backs. The backs are where we were writing all of the notes to everyone. So my recommendation is to definitely write them on the flat card first before you actually glue them onto the back, just because once we have the front of the card done, we will um, be gluing the little tiny birds onto the front and then it'll create an uneven writing surface. So once you flip this over, if this is like this, once we get them all finished and we flip them over, the bird will be over here and it'll just make for an uneven writing surface. So it's definitely good to just get all of your cards um, written first if you plan on doing like handwritten notes and we have them signed and everything. And then I've already started to glue some of the fronts on. I'm gluing the front of the cards without the birds first, and then I'm going to glue the backs on first just to make sure that it's all even and that I'm not having any issues with the, the birds over here with elevation or anything. So we're going to go ahead and finish those, and then as soon as we get those done, we're going to glue the backs on, and then we can start to get to the fun part, which is actually affixing the little birdies on. So when we get to that step, I'll show you what I do. Okay, so I've got all of the fronts and backs of my cards glued. I did use um, just glue sticks over here. It's just the easiest way to do it. I tried using like double-sided tape and stuff like that, and it looks like the glue is just working the best and was just the easiest to do. So I've got them all done here. Now it's time to actually put the little birdies on the front of the card. Um, so as you can see here, I've got a finished one here. So I think what I'm going to do, I am going to hot glue. So I've got my hot glue gun going here. Um, and what I have to do is just make sure that the little bird kind of aligns properly. So it looks like that he is, or she, whichever, um, pulling the banner. And then I'm just going to do a couple of dabs. I think I'm going to do one by the beak so the beak stays. I'm going to do one in the middle and then one by the tail. I don't really care if it's completely secure because it is a little three-dimensional. So, and oh, this is actually a better example. You can see a little bit better on here that um, you can see where I traced like the black pen or pencil mark along here. So that's definitely why you have to do it the opposite way when you are cutting them out. So it fits perfectly right here. I did pre-measure everything. And I did a couple tests before I went ahead and did them all. So that is the final process. And then, oh, not not the final process. I lied. I have a couple more things to do after that. I am going to put. Um, some little eyeballs right here with just a pen and then I'm going to draw in some little feet as well. So I will come back when all those are done and I'll show you how I do that part. Okay, all of my little birds have been hot glued to their cards, so that's very exciting. I'm almost done. It's been a really long process. So um, the next tip is to always have Andy's Mince Candies with you when you do this. Obviously very important. Um, so I did a couple of, uh, moving on to actually the real next step, is uh, I did a couple of tests on some extra birds that I had of doing the little eyeballs. I did determine that using just a regular Sharpie is probably the easiest way to do it. And I just went ahead, oops, I'm trying to get this in focus. It's not really working. I just went ahead and just dotted it quickly like that to make a little eyeball. And then what I'm going to do for the little feet coming off and so I'm using, um, or I'm using an extra thin pen. Um, I know that Sharpie makes an extra thin pen, but we discovered that this one was a little bit cheaper at our craft store. So I'm going to try to do this. Um, let me see if I can do this here. I'm gonna try to do this without holding the other end. So basically what we're gonna do is we're just gonna make little feet coming out of the bottom of the birdie just to make him look a little bit more realistic. I haven't done the eyeball on him yet, so maybe let's do him first. 
So we're just going to go ahead and dot him like that. So there's his little eye. And then taking the extra fine one, I'm going to go ahead and just kind of create little like feet like that. Doesn't have to be perfect or anything, just to make it look a little bit more real. So there's his little feet. So that's pretty much it. So now I have to do that for all of the cards and then I will officially be done and then we can actually move on to envelopes. Just to give you a quick sneak peek, um, we purchased these. They are A7s or 5x7 envelopes, um, craft paper envelopes, and I got them at Envelope Mall online for 100 of them. I think it was like, oh god, it was um, 10 to $12 I think. I'll put um, the actual price in a annotation on the screen somewhere um, but with shipping it was about 18 it was just under $20 for 100 of them so I thought it was actually a really good deal I did tons and tons of research and that was the best I could find so I'm gonna go ahead and finish off my little birds and then I'll come back and show you what I did for the envelopes the next part are the address labels and because I had a, a larger envelope size the 5 by 7 8 sevens um, I went for the 2x4 labels just because I think they are um, a little bit more modern and fresh looking. Um, and a little bit more special, I guess, for Christmas. And I got these at Target. It's a pack of 100 sheets of these labels. They're by Avery and they're the 18163s. So if you go to the Avery website, just avery.com, you can download a template onto Word. And it looks something like this. I'm just going to do a quick screenshot because there are people's names and addresses on there. And I don't want to give them away to the entire world on YouTube. Um, but we used the same font um, for the names on our address labels. Um, that is the bottom half of the card right here. I don't think you're not going to see it. But the font is actually called Sweetie Pie. We picked that one. Just go to defont.com and download that one if you like it. And then this font right here that says Happiest of Holidays is called, I think, Skinny. Um, but I'll put those in the information bar for you in case you're interested. So yeah, we're going to go ahead and print those off, affix them to our envelopes, and I will show you the finished product when we're all done. Okay, so here is the finished product. Um, I just did a fake one with our names and a fake address just so you could kind of see the font. Hopefully the camera will pick that up in a little bit of detail so you can kind of see it. So this is what the address labels look like. And then of course there's a little holiday stamp at the corner. Um, Josh, where are our holiday stamps so we can show? We just got the, just the regular post office holiday stamps this year. So, um, but yeah, this is what it looks like. And then when people pull out the um, card, it'll come out this way, sideways. So yeah, I was gonna line the envelopes with some Christmas themed papers, but I was just like, you know what? <laughs> I had to make a lot of these tiny birds and a lot of tiny scarves, and I was like, I just don't think I wanna deal with that. So maybe next year. Um, but overall, I'm really happy with the way they came out. I think they came out really good. And then when we seal them, I am gonna put a little heart stamp on the back here. I just have, um, some ink and then here is my little heart stamp so um, just because the font has the little dotted hearts and stuff on it so that will be the final finishing touch and we do have an address label sticker I'm going to cover up our actual address but it has a little owl with a scarf on it um, that's our winter holiday address label so that's pretty much it uh, I hope that you guys found this useful I will try to do a blog post with some more details and some more detailed pictures as well um, if you are looking for more information on like the exact dimensions that we used and everything. Um, and I'll put as much information down below as I can in the info bar. And uh, yeah, that's it. I hope that you guys enjoyed this. And I'll be back with more holiday themed videos soon. Probably baking and stuff like that. So I'll see you back here later. Bye.